Wonderful day, everyone! Welcome to the pilot episode of UCSP by Doncha. A diverse approach to understanding culture, society, and politics. I'm Teacher Don, and together we will broaden our knowledge to be socially and culturally competent individuals. But before we proceed to our lesson, let me introduce our hashtag in this show. It's Doncha. Let us begin by identifying the insights that you, grades 11 and 12 learners, should acquire to be socially adept with the changes around us and to achieve ideas and ways of interactions in groups, communities, networks, and institutions. Change is inevitable and the change always happens and things do not stay the same all the time. Hashtag Walang Forever! And because there is no forever, we are always bound to improve ourselves through new discoveries in science and technology, personal and shared experiences, and the urge to explore and learn more. People should be open for changes and it is always important to remember and know there are challenges brought by these changes. Similarly, I believe that the current situation will change. This COVID-19 pandemic will eventually come to an end. Things may have changed, but all for the better. Let's take a closer look on these points. Way of life. An example to it is our habit or belief. Do you think there are changes in your way of life? How about view of the world? For example, money and or power. Do you notice some differences in your view of the world? Let's say your priorities in life, which is in your case, your studies. Do you still consider your studies as your top priority? Lastly, relationships with others. An example to it is your friendship. Do you experience that some things are not as they used to be? Well, those are some of the social changes that all of us are experiencing. And with that, let us have this table. Try to recall some of the changes that you've experienced before and during COVID-19. Complete the table by stating your plans before and during COVID-19. Do you think there will be changes? Yes, I also think that there are changes. So, can you think of examples of your activities before COVID-19? Let me give you one example. To have a grand birthday party. Who doesn't want a grand birthday party? But during COVID-19, we can still celebrate birthdays, but in a more intimate or among our family members. How about our traveling plans before COVID-19? It could be out of town or outside the country. But during COVID-19 pandemic, we are limited and even restricted to visit places or even get out of our own houses because of the travel ban. Can you still personalize this table if you please to do so? You can write in the first column the following. Way of life, view of the world, priorities in life, relationships with others. And do not forget to write your responses in your UCSB modules. Do you miss going on a trip since the COVID-19 pandemic? I bet you, or we all do, right? Especially our traveling plans. OOTDs, selfies and groupies, and in posting our whereabouts in FB and Insta. Oh, how we miss to go to places. Enjoy the scenery, try new and exotic food meet new people, and experience a lot of things and a whole new world. Don't you worry about that because in today's episode, 
we will go to our dream travel destinations. I bet you are now excited. So what are you still waiting for? Buckle up and enjoy. Our first dream travel destination is in the city of Pines, also known as the summer capital of the Philippines. Welcome to Baguio City. Baguio City prides its one-of-a-kind mountain scenery and destinations for tourists love to visit here. Known for its chilly weather, pine trees, strawberries, and many more, it has a rich culture. As part of this journey, I have here a word for you to deepen your understanding about culture. It's anthropology. Don't you time? Don't you know that anthropology is from the new Latin word anthropologia or anthropologia, which means the study of humanity. It also shares its ultimate root or origin from the Greek word anthropos, which means human being. It is the study of human beings and their ancestors through time and space in relation to physical character, environmental, social relations, and culture. And one of the places to best observe and find human individuals who are very much connected with their environment and social relations and culture, it is here in Baguio City. Why? Because it has a rich blend of Western landscape and tribal Filipino culture. It can also be observed that it is the melting pot of the Cordillera tribes, local and foreign tourists from around the country and the world. Don't you time? Don't you know that Burnham Park is considered as the mother of all parks in the summer capital of the Philippines? Because it doesn't come here and not roam this wonderful park full of fun activities such as biking, boating, and many more. Don't you know that it was designed and named after an American architect and urban planner, Daniel Hudson Burnham? Just like this wonderful park, anthropology has its major American influence. It's because of the famous anthropologist, Franz Boas, the father of modern anthropology. He is an expert when it comes to human culture and he studied historical particularism. Don't you time, don't you worry, because historical particularism is not that hard to understand. It only means that each society is considered to have a unique form of culture that can be considered as complex. Just like here in Baguio City, we can find unique forms of culture from various groups and individuals. We can observe different practices from the Cordillera tribes, local and foreign tourists that flock the city from around the country and the world. How can I say so? Well, let's know more as we hit Session Road. Who visits Baguio and never come here? You can never say that you visited the City of Pines if you have not strolled one of the busiest roads in the city that's packed with commercial activities, centers, shops, stores, offices, bookstores, cafes and restaurants. Here you can see and meet friendly locals, a whole bunch of students from different schools and universities, tourists and visitors meeting up with friends, enjoying a totally different experience altogether. No foodie will ever miss this place. It's filled with cuisines from around the world. We can find some American, European, Japanese, Chinese, Koreans, and many more. As we learn more about the people here and their culture, that is exactly what anthropology is. And to tell more about it, we're here at the Baguio City National High School's Heritage and Learning Resource Center. Don't you know that there are anthropology experts who are known as anthropologists? They use a special research method called ethnography, which is a long-term participant observation. Anthropologists do this by living with their subject of study for a long period of time. For them to make their writings truthful or factual. 
maybe the tourist that you've met or once encountered is actually an anthropologist. Isn't it amazing? Don't you also forget that anthropology can be found and observed not just here, but in your own very places, provinces, cities, regions, and in the entire country. I guess it's for you to find out and why don't you share or post them in your FB or Insta? Let me know by using the hashtag Doncha. In this very place, we can find and observe the fields of anthropology. First, biological or physical anthropology, study of the human origins such as genetics, race, evolution, fossils, and primates. This is where we observe our ancestors and closest relatives. Next is the cultural anthropology, study of the living people, their religion, social system, language, clothing, food, beliefs, and tradition. Third is the linguistics or anthropological linguistics, study of language, its evolution, its connection to other languages and other society. Last but not least, archaeology, study of the material remains of past human life and activities such as religion, social system, language, attire, food, beliefs, and tradition. Do you think there are also places in your cities or provinces where anthropology and its field are evident? I believe you have them in your places. Don't you forget these goals of anthropology. First is observing the common things among people, just like here in Baguio. Though locals here are from different tribes, yet we can still observe some of their common traditions that they practice and how they preserve their identities. Second, discover what makes people different from each other. This is also present here with the variety of cuisines that we can try this is already a presentation of difference or diversity. Third, create new knowledge through researches about humankind and behavior. Just wow! We've seen and learned a lot from our visit at the Baguio City National High School Museum. It may not be grand as others are, but it's an evidence of how Baguio City is truly rich in culture and how every citizen from all ages take place and part in preserving their cultural heritage all around the city and a lot of awesome places to visit, things to experience, and food to try. For sure, if you visit this place, you'll learn more of it. How much more those grades 11 and 12 learners living here? I bet they take pride in these things. How about you? Have you tried exploring your own city or province before COVID-19? Did you take photos of your tour? Why don't you share it on your FB or Insta and use our hashtag Doncha? Is the cool weather now giving you chills? Let's go to our next travel destination. Let's hit the skies to the Queen City of the South, Cebu City. Don't you know that Cebu is the oldest city in the Philippines? And it got its name in the Cebuano word Cebu, which means trade. And when people trade, people socialize or interact with others. And where else to best experience it? Of course, it's none other than Cebu City. There are a lot of destinations to visit, some of which are Magellan's Cross, Temple of Leia, and Cyril Flower Garden, and many more. And to our foodie out there, Cebu offers a variety of foods from meals to delicacies. The they have the famous Lechon de Cebu, a must try, Benignit, and a whole lot more. Cebu has a lot to offer from people to society. And learning more about this is to know sociology. Sociology is the study of society patterns of social interactions, social life, 
social change, and social causes and consequences of human behavior. Sociology came from the French word which means companion, and the Greek word ology, meaning the study of. It was coined or first developed by French philosopher named Auguste Comte. He did this because he saw the need to see and study the society. Before the nationwide lockdown or quarantine, tourists and visitors flocked Cebu City. It's one of the top destinations in the country. And so is the increase of foreigners that influence this bustling city, creating a diverse and unique society. Cebu is also rich in family background, traditions, social classes, ethnicity, beliefs, gender, and religion, creating a society. Of course, you are very familiar with these things because I know for sure that in your own places, cities, provinces, and regions, you observe all these things. Tancha time! Don't you want to know more about sociology? It also has its own fields. Here are some of the fields of sociology, social organization, social psychology, applied sociology, and human ecology. Social organization pertains to a group of interacting people with the same goal. Examples of these are the top companies found in Cebu City. You will not just experience nature, but also the city vibe with lots of skyscrapers or buildings, shopping malls, hotels and restaurants that offer a variety of local and international cuisine. Social psychology is the study of how people's thoughts, feelings, beliefs, intentions, and behavior are influenced by the social environment. Let's roam around the city. You can see here how beautiful Cebu City is. We can observe that the locals or residents truly take pride as they tour and showcase the tourists and visitors to appreciate and also experience these wonderful places here. Applied sociology is the information about society to solve social issues. Don't you know that Plantable Pencils in the Philippines was launched by a startup company called Echo Hub Cebu? They see the need to educate and advocate the use of eco-friendly school supplies. Human ecology is the study of interactions between human beings and nature in different cultures. And where to best find this? Come, let's explore the city and discover its natural beauty. Don't you know the goals of sociology? First, to study the nature of humanity is to be aware of our society. Second, appreciate society. We have to still look for the good things in it and for us to look for ways to improve or develop it. You may find the terms new, but as you stay tuned in our episodes, you'll definitely learn more. Isn't Cebu a truly magnificent place with all this marvelous nature around us? But that is not yet the end of our tour. We still have one more destination. Ready to fly again? Let's fly to Davao City. Davao City is also known as the King City of the South and the Durian Capital of the Philippines. Davao is where we can take a tour of Eden Nature Park. Visit the Philippine Eagle Center or Davao Crocodile Park. Davao is also known for its durian fruit and durian flavored everything and pomelos. And if you want to try some exotic food, you gotta have crocodile meat. Davao City is also the hometown of our president and we will explore the city as we talk about political science or politics. Davao City is one of the best examples when it comes to governance in the country. And when we talk about governance, 
we are pertaining to political science. Political science is the systematic study of government, politics, and political power. Don't you know that politics was started by the ancient Greeks? It is being studied way back in time, and this politics is what is being practiced, not just in Davao, but in the entire country. Here are some of the things to know about political science. It tells about political theory, political philosophy and ideologies, public management, human rights, international relations and foreign policies. These can be observed and practiced by the residents of Davao City. Don't you know the goals of political science? First, make people better citizens. It is to bring out the best in every Filipino people wherever you may be in the country. Second, keep social order and harmony among different groups of people to have a safe and peaceful community, just like here in Davao. Third, protect the rights of an individual, which the Davaoenos experience in the city. Fourth, avoid conflict and promote cooperation to foster harmony in the society, and that's what is exercised here. These political goals are achieved not just in Davao, but also in all over the Philippines. Oh, hi there! Are you done shopping your pasalubong? Ready to pack up? Before we get back home, here are some travel fun facts for you. Understanding culture, society, and politics, or UCSP, is about anthropology, sociology, and political science. These are important words to remember as we go along with our TV lesson on UCSP. We've just learned that culture is rich in every places in the country. Society is us, the Filipino people. Politics is important because it ensures the safety, rights, and welfare of every Filipino. And now, it's time to head back home. There we go! I hope you've enjoyed our travels and fun facts today. Don't you feel sad? Because you know what? On our next episode, I assure you that we will have more interesting destinations. Have a great day, everyone! Once again, I'm Miss Dawn, your tour guide for today. See you in the next episode!